Hello everybody. So in this part of the series, we will be talking about one of the NLP modeling technique, which is called bag of words, right? So let's have a look uh, what Wikipedia says about it. So as per Wikipedia, the bag of words model is a simplifying representation used in natural language processing or information retrieval right so if this makes sense to you it is well and good otherwise i'm just going to explain you in detail so uh, like any other bag of words is just one of the modeling technique using any other or many other rather we can say um, nlp modeling technique we can do the we can do you know amazing things for example let's say you went to amazon and you want to purchase something for that first thing which you do is find the product and then you check out the reviews so let's consider that you have this review like you can see this is such a big review right so you may not have time to figure out what exactly this customer is trying to say so we require something which which could tell us whether it is a negative review or a positive review right so that's something which you can achieve using many of the nlp technique and bag of word is one of that let's have a look how does bag of words work so to make it simple what i'm going to do is let's say we have all right before we proceed further so when we do bag of words how does this work so entire activity you can split in two parts first part is listing down all the words or creating a vocabulary right creating a vocabulary so this is something which is called which is called bagging bagging the words what let's say you have been given a very big sentence which i'm i'll be covering in the next right and then you break them down and you pick out these specific words and make a strong vocabulary okay that's that's one part then once you are done with that then next thing comes is encoding them let me give you an example let's say you have in you have this kind of data uh, we can consider it let's say that it's a training set okay training data set so here you see you have reviews about learn area channel right so here it says learn area is the best channel it is just awesome it has great content and the last review is something someone says i just hate it right so here is the analysis sentiment analysis which has been done on this sentences right so this in 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 terms of machine land learning or you know machine learning language or um, modeling language we usually say this is the target variable this is target variable which we generally refer as y and this is your independent feature which we generally refer as x so using this we have to train the model to give the result something like this so how are we gonna work on this right so how does how how what is it that we're gonna do in bag of words modeling right so in that what we do is we have a look at whole sentences whatever the raw data is being supplied and then we break them to the smallest unit you remember we learned in the previous video where we saw how to do the tokenization so that's exactly what we're gonna do over here so like you can see we have broken them to the smallest uh, unit which is words right um, of course words is not the smallest one later is the smallest one but later will not make sense right in terms of uh, this bag of word or nlp language you will consider that word is the smallest unit okay so now once you are done with uh, you know tokenizing all the sentences all the uh, text which has been supplied the next thing which comes is you know next thing which i will do is i will remove these stop words again this is something which i have covered in the previous videos i would highly recommend you to check out the um, playlist and or i'm i'll be giving the link of the video in the description section okay now i remove i'm done with removing the stop words right and then the thing comes is there anything else that we can filter out of it so yeah there could be certain situation for example here the word nlp doesn't make much sense all right and uh, sorry not the nlp means 
this particular word learn area doesn't make much sense other than that we can perform you know lemmatization or you know stemming to simplify this kind of words other than that what else that you can perform is you need to make sure you know how that all the texts are texts are in one case either small or capital okay so that it will the, the model will not get confused otherwise it will start reading the same word as different let's say if you have written learn area in a small letter and in capital letter both so that both of them will be treated as separate item okay we will be seeing as we progress in the videos okay how to take care of this but for now i'm just going to be with these kind of words so once we are done with uh, you know uh, filtering out the specific words so this is what our list of words will be or vocabulary will be all right so here to make it clean i'm keeping it at one side now once we are done with you know making all these things what we're gonna do is this all will be called features we're gonna make them as features right so we also say this feature extraction now you can see learn area this learn area is over here you know based is over here next thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna now once we are done with having all these features created next thing we will start looking at the supplied sentences or documents one by one so let's pick the sentence number one so in sentence number one what you see is learn area is available right best is available channel is available so when you encode this so this is what you get wherever you find a match you put one wherever you don't find a match you put zero same thing we're gonna do with sentence two where we see that it has it and awesome with sentence three which has it great and contents then we do the same thing with sentence four where we have i and hate now this is a very perfect data ready to train your model now when you train the model so to train the model you also have to supply the target variable what is it exactly that we want so this is the review so here we are simply saying if there is any word if there is any sentence which contains learn area based and channel that is a positive review okay same goes for each of the sentences all right so using this you trained your model now you one thing you should observe over here in the text here we had two it word but here we see only one that makes sense right because here we are just creating one column and wherever it matches in the sentence we are putting one against that i just hope that it is clear to you now let's take a new sentence where it says great to learn from awesome channel so you see there are two things which are matching over here three things in fact great awesome and channel let's put it in this table so sentence five and that comes something like this so here you see channel is something matching awesome matches and great matches so we see that these wherever wherever we had word great we got a positive review right wherever we had awesome we had a positive review wherever we had channel we also had positive review okay so here you can easily predict or consider or maybe you can guess that it's gonna be a positive review right so this is how the bag of words here it it majorly which you should keep in mind is breaking down the document in the smallest part right then perform all the techniques which we learned previously like stemming lemmatization removing um, removing stop words you know removing punctuations and so on and then do the encoding of the extracted words features or whatever you say it and then you train your model and after that you can you know get the result it's it's that simple right all right so this is it in this video in the next one we will see how can we do it in python you know it, and how can we uh, create the model using pack of words thank you very much for being with me and wish you very